Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series to learn how to display menu and menu items. We will also handle menu item event. Also, we will see how to create and use checkbox menu items. So, in this video, we will learn what is menu and menu bar. A menu in Java FX is a pop up box containing actionable items in it. Java FX provides menu class, so the class name is menu, which can be constructed by passing a string to it. So the passed in string will act as a caption for the menu, or the passed in string will get it displayed on the menu so once you click on the labeled string the menu pop-up will open the menu bar holds one or more menus so here we are creating menu instance right so in the menu bar you can pass one or more instance of the menu so that way you can create uh, more than one menu item in the menu bar in this video, we will create three menus and add it to the menu bar. So here, if you see, this is menu 1, file, tools is menu 2, and help is menu 3. So we are creating three menu, and this one is what called the menu bar. So in the menu bar, so this is what called menu bar which is stacked horizontally over the top edge of the stage and the menu bar contains three menus. So here if you see we are creating a vertical box this is just to hold the menu bar. Then from vertical box, we are getting the children and we name that as controls. Then we are creating this scene and we are giving this uh, vertical box to the scene. Then through primary stage, we are displaying the scene. So here we are simply setting the name for the uh, window or stage. Then we are showing that. So menu bar is not yet created what we created is a vertical box and we assembled that with the scene then scene is given to the stage here we are creating three menus and if you see for the menu constructor we are passing the string this will appear as the caption then we are creating the menu bar so reference is m bar and here we have three menus if you see menu bar a then we created three menus and so this will be our stage or we can call it as a window so we'll be having a title then the buttons for closing minimizing and restoring it then we will be having a menu bar so menu bar will be located at the top because here we are using the v box and when we add it to the stage the v bar i mean the uh, vertical box sit here and inside the vertical box we add our uh, menu bar so this is a menu bar and to the menu bar we had three menu items i mean three menus so m bar this is m bar right m bar get menus so this will also give an observable list 
and we call that as menu nodes then to this menu nodes we will add all the menu item so that to the menu bar we can add m1 m2 m3 that means all these menus and if you see we are making call to add all then we are passing all this menu file menu tools menu help finally we add our menu bar to the controls that means the vertical box and the vertical box was already added to the scene vertical box m bar holder and m bar holder is given to the scene so to the m bar holder we already grabbed the controls and using that we just equip the menu bar so this is how we created the menu and if you look at the hierarchy so this one will act as a root the v box and to the v box we add menu bar to the root we are adding the menu bar a and to a we added three menu items right and the root is given to the scene and the stage when it is displaying it will display the root root means it will display the vertical box vertical box contains menu bar so menu bar will be displayed menu bar contains three menu item i mean three menus so all three menu will get displayed so to this menu we have to add actionable item since we haven't yet added it when you click on this menu nothing happens that means you won't see any pop-up menu so but uh, in this example you can at least see all these uh, uh, menus as well as menu bar now let's go to the demo all right here is our netbeans ide as usual we will copy So first we create vertical box, then we retrieve child notes collection from this uh, V box. After that we give that V box to the scene and primary stage is coming here as input argument and we are setting the scene by providing the scene which was constructed previously by making use of the m bar holder v box next uh, we create three menus and if you see the menu is from java fx scene control menu Next, we create menu bar. So, this is M bar, and from M bar, we make a call to get menus. So, this will give us the observable list of menu, menu nodes. So, to this menu nodes, we add already created menus. So, here we use the add all, you can also use the add method. 
when you are using the add method you have to make a call like this menu notes dot add mnu file then in the next line mnu notes dot add mnu tool you can continue like that as well so all these menus are added to the menu bar then we are adding the then we are adding the menu bar to the vertical box finally we set title for our uh, primary stage primary stage was already read, ready with the scene now we are just giving the title you know the menu item example now we will build it here you can see this is the stage stage contains menu bar so this full area is what called the menu bar and inside the menu bar we have three menus and when i click nothing happens why because uh, these are all empty menus nothing get we added nothing to this menu in the next video we will add the menu items that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye